We are talking everything eclipse with Rebecca with our celebration. Yes. 41 days out, right? That's right. It's the countdown. You know how excited I get about eclipses <laughs> and we've been going through different elements of, of what you can expect if you go to the path of totality, what you can expect if you stay here and enjoy the partial eclipse. And today we're going to talk about things that you might see other than that main event, which of course is the star of the show, so to speak. The and I was eclipse. wondering, is it just a blip in time? Like how long will you be in totality if you're in that path? And so if you're within the path, the closer you are to the center of the path, the closer you'll be to getting four minutes plus four minutes. of totality, yes. Wow. Now, if you are closer to the edge of that center, because the path is a swath, the further you get to either edge, the shorter your time gets. And so people will be traveling to get as close as they can to that certain line to get that whole four minutes. And if you are in the path of totality, here's some other things that you might get to see. Uh, the first thing that you might see even a little bit before totality is Venus will start to appear. It will be about 15 degrees from the sun. It'll be pretty bright, probably the brightest object in the sky other than the corona of the sun that you're enjoying around that right. moon. And then next, this won't happen until you actually see totality. You might be able to see Jupiter, which will be about 30 degrees from the sun, and it will be a little bit dimmer, but I still think you'll be able to see it with the naked eye based on the calculations that we're seeing. Um, all of this is, of course, contingent upon clear skies and no clouds. Now, here's what you might not get to see, but it's a possibility. This is 12P, which is the Pons Brooks Comet. It comes around every 71 years. Now, the reason that you might be able to see this with the naked eye versus just a telescope is because this comet is known for flare-ups. Oh. It's basically a ball of dirt and ice. So chunks of it routinely break off mm -hmm. and it causes a much brighter flare as it's traveling across the night sky. It actually, because of the way it's shaped right now, it looks like it has devil horns because of the way chunks have broken off, so it's nicknamed the Millennium Falcon. Ah. And so if we're lucky enough to get clear skies, the eclipse, and one of those chunks breaking off, you might get to see that comet as well. And remind me where you're going to be watching from. And so I've chosen Dallas based on the lack of cloud cover and the path of totality. If you were go, Dallas is in the path of totality and we get about three minutes and 12 seconds of totality, even if I just walked outside the hotel room. But I've gone along the map and I've picked out some locations on the highway. If we were go, to go about 40 miles to the east, we would get closer to that four minutes wow. in terms of the path of totality. So you may do that. We're going to try it just depending on traffic. It's going to be a nightmare. All of the state park day passes are already sold out well in advance. All of the events I could find that I was interested already sold out well in advance. And so it will be very, very crowded. I noticed Delta added another flight. Yes, they did a, a flight through the path of totality. And one last thing to tell you before we get to tips is if you do get to see the path of totality, also look around because we have the the twilight effect 365 degrees around and wow. so it's going to look a little bit like this you can see how it looks like twilight all around and so that's one of the other cool effects and so I got most of this information from these resources that we're showing you on your tips right now um, great books out there observe eclipses is one of my favorites by Michael D Reynolds it's there's also guide to eclipses transits and occultations by David Levy and then a great source for kids the complete kids guide to the great American solar eclipse viewing by KJ Honda and I know area schools are going to be doing a lot about this moving forward as well um, getting kids excited about science getting them excited about seeing the partial eclipse here in Tampa Bay. I'm getting excited for it I'm I'm good with even a partial eclipse thank you very much thank you more to come next week we'll be right back